Okay, last time we tried to end on a high note, and last time we failed. So, uh, let's, let's try not to suck this time. Right? Uh, Bandai? Yeah, sure. Let's try to get that death counter up to two. No, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try not to do that, actually. In fact, uh, let's try to uh, beat the gym leader and do some other good things that are, you know, and maybe get to the next city? I don't know, probably not. First, we're going to do some exploration over there on Route 16. We've got uh, our newest team member, Bondi, on uh, being trained up so that he can uh, do some useful things, possibly. Maybe. Probably not. But we'll see, I guess. And first step. This is where we lost an Ekans. <sighs> Garbage. Alright. This is run. Has well, it's been fine up till now. This is this this last time was just not fun. We just got nothing good last time. Though our first four are currently fantastic. I have no problems with any of them. Just everything else we've gotten seems kind of dull, but we'll figure that out, I guess. Maybe, hopefully. She's a fair bit. Oof. Level 24. Maybe we'll learn Curse at some point. That would be useful, because Curse is always good on Snorlax. Do we have Cut? I don't think we have Cut. Let's just ignore that, because we don't have Cut, probably. Ooh, what's this? What? Oh, I didn't even know there was another area up here! Where the hell? What is this garbage? This, this Lost Lorn Forest is at the freaking end of this list. I could have ended it on a high note! God damn it! This goob game! I'm genuinely angry at this. Not really, but a little bit. Uh, this actually pisses me off a little bit. Ah, uh, this stupid list. It had it at a lower thing, so I didn't think there was anything else over here. But apparently there was something else over here. Well. Wow. That's just unfortunate. Well, you know what? Out of spite, we're not even going to do it yet. Screw this. I'll save it for later in the episode. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to spite you, the viewer, because this is not your fault at all, but whatever. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna put that off till later. Let's do some back... Let's fight some backpackers. And... Duosion. Duosion. And get some experience first before catching the mysterious Pokemon on the mysterious new route that I didn't find earlier. I feel like a little regretful for training Bandai because I really don't know if I'm going to use him. And I feel like I'm wasting experience I could be spending on, say, Kokichi, or Asahina, or Ibuki for that matter, or Peko, or, you know, literally anyone else on my team, but... I don't know. 
Worst case, we just have to grind in the grass for a little bit. Houndour! I'm trying, I'm, it's like halfway between Houndour and Houndour. I usually go with Houndour, but I don't want to offend anybody. Oof. Got that flinch. Oh, he poisoned me. You jerk. Poison doesn't do, like, passive damage anymore, so... Scraggy? Uh, I guess we'll stay in for that. Oh, crap! That's not good. Oh, we might have just lost Bandai. Maybe. Now we pray this thing doesn't have pursuit. Uh, let's go into. Uh, that was careless, actually. I know this thing is fighting type. Uh, oh, I'm thinking to send in Pekko, and I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm actually an idiot. Let's go into Kokichi. <laughs> Apparently, we don't really have anything good against fighting types either. Actually, bringing Sigilith back might not be the worst idea after this, but... Yeah, let's... Alright, we have the, um... Whatever. Bike. Earth Pulse Tablet. Whatever. Same thing. No, that wasn't where I wanted to go. What am I doing? I'm just... <sighs> I'm good at video games. Here we go. Let's heal. So I have continued preparing rules for the Dongon lock that is potentially coming later. Yeah, that's the name I chose. This is not that. But I'll do the next run and with those rules, so. We can use the gimmick to its fullest. This is a beta, a beta run. Hello, Jubs. So far we've had a fairly exciting episode where I learned I last episode didn't have to end badly. Because there's actually another era, area up there to the north. And I just totally missed it, and because it wasn't on the light, the list, so... Let's go do that now, actually, because we ran out of things. Oh, we need strength for that, okay. Strength's a fairly good move, if I remember correctly. So maybe we'll actually give that to Snorlax over Chippeway. Alright, see, we, well, this is Lost Lorne Forest, and as said... I didn't know it existed until a few minutes ago, and um, I'm upset because I thought I ended could have ended the because I could have ended the last episode on a, a happy note like oh it's revenge time we missed the aggron at the beginning now we can actually catch it no that's drift fail bridge dum dum. Ah, it's time for revenge! I'm gonna catch it this time! Just you watch! Oh, you think you can headbutt me, but you can't. You can't even touch me. Oh, I am getting my revenge at last. Both on the last episode, and on the first Pokémon we ever encountered. You aren't getting away this time, bucko. Oh, I didn't get to see what you ended up with. I was... Yeah, yesterday was not good, and today I totally forgot. 
Um, I could cheat now, but I won't, because I'm streaming and I should be a good streamer. <laughs> but I will ask, what did you end up with? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Congratulations on a on a HM slave well caught. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow. That's some luck. I wish I had that luck. Last episode when I didn't get anything good. Oh wow, it just broke free from an Ultra Ball. This is not going to be easy. Yeah, that's, that's a hell of a find. Like, just to randomly get Ho-Oh. Oh, rip. So you gotta wait a while for that. Oh right, chip away's not affected by that, so I can just keep chipping away. Literally. And... Just get it down to low health. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have to go there. Alright, now let's toss this at him. Yes! We did it! Last one was V3, so we're actually back to the original game. Because we got um, Monosuke last time. Who would be an Agron from Danganronpa 1? Uh, I have to check the. Uh, absolutely. Um, it's a female. So yeah, it's either Sakura, uh, could be Mukuro, but probably not. Uh, so it's either Sakura or, um, uh, there's someone else that could be, I don't remember. <laughs> Did I have another person? Uh, I was gonna say, you know, Mondo because of the head if it was a male, but yeah, it's gotta be Sakura. There's no one else. Sakura, who is currently asleep. Quirky nature. That's definitely Sakura. Okay. Um, oh, so it has neutral nature. So it has a neutral nature. That's pretty good. What type is Steel Rock? So it's the same type as uh, Peko, which is unfortunate. Oh, Steel Ground, Pekko is. Oh, so Pekko's really good, actually good against, uh, there. Yeah, I'll leave her there for now. I, I don't know if we're gonna leave her in the party, but... Yeah, water is still killing me. I, well, I have Ibuki, so Ibuki can take care of that. I, I have a few type weaknesses still. I the water. I have Kokichi is neutral. Asahina is not affected, but can't do anything to it other than body slam, I suppose. And Ibuki is pretty good. 
So I'm not too worried about water. I'm still worried a bit about of electric types, which is why I have Bondi on the team. Just because natural bulk is nice against that. Though fighting types are actually a pretty huge problem now, and rock types. Fighting types and rock types just destroy most of our team. Fighting kills everyone but Kokichi, just because Ibuki's frail. And Rock kills everyone but uh, Peko. Because um, Asahina is ice type, which means she is weak to rock types. Oh, can I at least loot your house? Oh, well, this is entirely useless. Alright, who are we going to run into here? Oh, it's another uh, Agron. Nice. Now we're actually fairly weak to steel as well, considering uh, Asahina is our major counter to a lot of these things. So actually, I'm just trying to think of who I want on my team next. And honestly... So I am still worried about our problem with uh, with electric types. The best person to put on our team might actually be um, Monos Monos Monosuke. Oh boy, yeah. So yeah, you should probably train up a bit. <laughs> It'll be a challenge, otherwise. Oh. Yeah, it was the changing of the desktop background. Yeah, Monosuke is totally gonna get killed, but just because his namesake, he's died far too many times. Well, there wasn't any mono cubs in Danganronpa 2 for Peko. I think Peko can learn self destruct. Maybe. I feel like most rock types can learn it. Yeah. Alright, so let's drop off our newest member, and I guess we'll pick up. I guess we'll pick him up. I think he might be a good move to add to the team, so... Let's drop off Sakura. Sakura is definitely going to probably end up on the team at some point. I have no doubt in my mind. And so let's make the fifth slot a uh, Slowpoke. Or a slow, slow poke, yeah. Nicknamed Monos. Okay. What is male? God damn it, game. Or thing. Yeah, slow king, not poke. I know. I know what I'm doing in this game. I'm I'm intelligent. No, that's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Says a guy we should probably be using more. But I, I, I don't want to rely on Honchkrow as much as I love Honchkrows, and as much as I love Kokichi. <laughs> so this is a pretty decent team. Uh, let's go train Bondi a little bit and go back to that other route, and then we'll train Monosuke a little bit. I don't want anyone to explode. You just said anyone who could learn it.
All right, let's get into this battle. Musician Preston. A goler. Well, I know someone who can do jack shit to this thing, and that person's name is Bandai. Let's give this one to Monosuke. What is Monosuke now? Nothing! Perfect. Go in there and do your thing. I guess Water Gun should be fine. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do, because that raises your physical defense. And I won't be attacking that. Oof. Actually, fairly good I went into Monosuke. I don't know how many of those I can survive. I probably can't survive another, so... Can I survive another? I think I can. Unless it crits, in which case. Well! That was short-lived! Let's go do the thing. Well, living up to his namesake. Monosuke is dead. And he died second. It's perfect, you know. Alright, Peko can finish this. <laughs> ah, Peko didn't even take damage. She's too good. Peko's too good. That was a quick second. That was quickly. I, I teased the second death, and uh, it sure did happen. Well. I tried! I tried to have Monosuke on the team, but, uh, fate did not answer. Hush, oh, Jobs. Oh, I guess I should do this. Five, clear slot. <laughs> Alright, let's go drop Peko off. Or frickin' not Peko. I'm not dropping Peko off. I'm hoping we don't ever have to drop Peko off. I want to keep Peko to the end. Having a Steelix has been just amazing. But, uh, I want to keep everyone to the end, except maybe Bandai I don't really care too much about. But, you know, he's fine for now, and hopefully if he can get strength, then we'll have a good strength user. So, I've never really been a fan of uh, Slowpoke, but, or not Slowpoke, <laughs> whatever, Snorlax. I've never been a fan of Snorlax, but... Well, out of the party, buddy. You're dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at English. I, I know how to do it. I'm tempted to just put J Jotaro into the party and just let him sit there, so let's just put J Jotaro into the party. Just, whatever. He can sit in the party for now, and... Worst case, he's helpful a little bit, and we can train him up later, you know? <sighs> you know, I'm not gonna rely on him, I'm not gonna train him up like I was planning to do for Slowking. We're just gonna, just gonna leave him in there, and we can maybe train him up later, you know? Just have the sixth member focus on the first five right now. We'll worry about everything else. We'll worry about our sixth member a little later.
Well, if I can get him on the right roll of Danganronpa's, because I think we're on Danganronpa 2 now. Yeah, we're switching out! That's not... Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not doing that. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Uh... Oh god, it's a fighting type. Alright, Kokichi, this is on you. You better not screw this up, buddy. I am not having two deaths in an episode. I say immediately before I get two deaths in an episode. Or at some point we're going to get two deaths in an episode. Or we're going to lose our whole team at some point. Eh, I'm not even going to bother. Like, this thing doesn't give enough experience for me to care. I just want to kill it and give the experience to Kokichi. Well, at least that death wasn't as sad as the first one, because Nagisa had actually put in effort. Sloking just joined the team and died immediately. can't hurt me, Paul. You, you, loaning the speed of one of the slowest guys is not going to help you very much. Oh, Parish Song. Well, I gotta switch out, so that's not gonna... Ooh, nice! Bandai is actually getting to be a pretty decent level. Oh, well, we didn't need to switch out because he only had one guy. Nice! All right, let's go around the back, and then, uh... We should go in here, actually. No, I don't have any ingredients. I got rid of all my sticky barbs, so you can't have those. All right, what is this gonna be? Oh, it's just a frickin' this thing. Ugh, I hate Dunsparce. It's gross. Look at it. It doesn't even... What even is that thing? What even is that? It's not, not nice looking. It's just... No inspiration. It's just like... A circle... Another circle, and like this weird cone tail, and some wings. At least Farfetch'd looks appealing. Like, I like Farfetch'd, but I don't like Dunsparce. Yeah, it's another Snorlax. I think this is where we caught Sloking, so it's weird to see a Snorlax, but okay. This is where we also found the legendary Ekans, but... Alright, this thing is dead. Cause it's slower than me. Yevany. This thing is grass fighting, right? Or just pure grass? I think it's just pure grass. Maybe. I pray this thing is just pure grass, because I'm going to stay in. Yeah, it's just pure grass. Alright. If it was fighting, it would have used a fighting type attack. Ouch. Can't do anything now. 
No, I didn't want to use yawn again! Ah, that was bad. Alright, well, it's still asleep, that's fine. I wanted to get a heal off. Nice, alright. I'm gonna actually have a level 27 going in. I assume we want to go all the way, right? There's gotta be another thing over here, yeah. Oh boy, what's this? Some legendary music? Alright, two Roselias. Oh boy, we have Ibuki. We get to see Ibuki, because I haven't been using her because she's so frickin' strong. I mean, it's not gonna do much, because it's not very effective, but she's just so high level that it should at least, you know, do some decent damage. Trying to chip away at uh, Bandai. That's not gonna work. I mean, my guys might be over leveled because of the the way leveling works in these games and that evolved Pokemon are gonna level up a lot faster. And, I mean, also, uh, is the female one the weak one? Yeah. And, uh, I had a lot fewer guys for a lot longer than you did. So, my guys end up higher level because I'm just Switching between fewer of them. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, another Dusk Ball. I like this ball. Alright. Ah! And Roselia is getting in my way. Although we should be able to one-shot them now, because we were almost able to one-shot before, and now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got it. The run to red is fun. He's really just over-leveled compared to everyone else in the game, but... Oh, Surskits, of course. But, uh, so yeah, it's definitely hard. I mean, you might Legend Hunt just to spend time on something to... Make sure you have the levels to beat him. Because, goodness, he's high level compared to everything else. Oh, yeah, the little wandering beast. Oh, come on, you could have a legendary Ekans! The roaming legendary Ekans. It could be you could have one. I, I, why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> I mean, I think there's actually some shared cries back then. I think even now there's still some shared cries, at least as far as I know, so even then you might not be able to tell. I mean, you could narrow it down at least, though. But uh, I certainly don't know the cries. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we're fairly well leveled. I think we can go take on the gym. This should be fun. Give me my fresh water. Yeah, I'm not really reading any of this. My eyes kind of went out of focus for a minute there. 
Oh. Well, we wanna... No, this is the final loop, I think. We wanna get to this. Ugh, I can't... This gym is... Why is this gym... So bad compared to the new one? Like, wow, they improved this gym. <laughs> Alright. A Cyndaquil, that's actually kind of fitting. Alright. I mean, it should be electric type for this gym, but... Yeah, I like that. It's a, it's a Cyndaquil. It's, uh, it's good to see a Cyndaquil. Don't you dare get burned, Bandai. I mean, I think Bandai has thick fat, which is just all my yes. I should actually check. Let's check. Thick fat, yeah. So, this is just, you know, push over to him. Oh, Bayleaf! Wow, she had two uh, Johto starters. That's actually, like, thematic. That actually works. That's cool. Alright. Oh, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. Alright. Get this garbage out of here. Never like Bayleaf or Meganium or Chikorita anyway. Garbage. Alright. Alright, where's my berries? Where's these crappy berries? I have a million of these berries already. So I can... Yeah, I can even use this Rost berry. No. <laughs> That's the Rost berry on the burn. Yeah, alright. Petcha berry we wanted. Alright, and the poison. God damn it. Alright. I don't know where I got convinced that that was. It's like I don't want to miss the goddamn thing. Alright. Actually, pretty perfect matchup for this. These things are not so good against physical attacks. Snorlax, get up! God damn it! Ah, uh, die get up, you piece of shit! Oh, now it's defense crawling. Wonderful. Oh my goodness! Now, all right. Let's to deal with this. Paco, just finish the job for me, please. <sighs> yeah, you can defense girl all you goddamn want. You... Well, that'll kill me. Eventually. Avoided my screech piece of garbage. Oh my god, this thing is gonna be really annoying. It's not gonna kill anybody. It's just gonna be really annoying. All right, we're not even gonna bother with the stupid screeching. All right. Screw this, Ibuki. Go. This stupid cute charm. Get sleep caused, bitch. Okay, no. Okay, there's no sleep cost. This is. This is not competitive. Alright. Just beat the crap out of it, Ibuki. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is just annoying as hell. I need Thunderbolt badly. Alright. 
Alright, where's an awakening or something? I even buy awakenings? Like, I don't know, I'll fall asleep. Yeah, I said, nah, no one will fall asleep. No one will ever fall asleep. Where's the freaking Chesterberry? There's a Chesterberry. Get up, Pecco. This garbage wiggly tough was screwing with you. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's a roller coaster, totally them thematically fitting with a model. <laughs> God, they improved this gym so much, it's ridiculous. Bondi versus a Zangoose. Alright, that's... Alright, I'll, I'll see this fight play out. Swords Dance! Ooh! That's dangerous, actually. I think we're a fairly good defensive wall, though, so let's... Eh, Belladrum will fail if it hits us too hard. Alright, perfect. See, I'm taking a risk, but... I should kill it if it doesn't wake up. But I'm gonna heal just in case, because... Let's not take that kind of risk. Eh, let's just use a lemonade. I'm not going to take the too big a risk here. And now we can just kill everything on this team. Bye, Zangoose! Now, as long as you don't have, like, a ghost type... Rest. I should probably get that. Um, let's just... Get rid of Amnesia. I mean, we might end up with Rest Talk. Oh, Snore. Um, snore Special Attack? Yeah, no, I don't want Snore. Screw Snore. Give up on Snore. Yep, that's dead. Oh, and that's a rock type, isn't it? Uh, maybe it's not dead, but... Yeah. Don't think you needed that, buddy, but go right ahead. <laughs> See how much that does. God. That's a belly drum for you. Totally worth the cost. Well, I might need some hyper potions. <laughs> Cardivar, alright. Neat. Bondi is just tearing through this gym. They haven't had anything that can really screw with them yet. Until, other than that, one stupid Wigglytuff, but that wasn't really a threat, more of an annoyance. A lot of magical leaves today. caught up. I don't really see any reason to keep leveling. I can kind of just put out whoever I want. Actually, I'm kind of satisfied with him in the front because he's, you know, fairly expendable. Yeah, yeah, fancy jumps and shit. 
All right, let's turn on the red. So we don't have to do that ever again. And we can just now do the red railway. When we come back. I think our team is fairly ready for this challenge, so... And the next gym is the one I'm really worried about. Because that was the gym where I got completely wiped and had to start basically from scratch with a with a drappy on. And uh, then I got a Drudigon in the uh, cave as my lucky, you know, catch. And I was actually able to completely come back from nothing. Because I don't, I don't really count wipeouts as ends of the run. Because I don't, I don't want to end the run. So it's as long as I have Pokemon, I can keep using them. So when I have none left, that I end the run. I think that's a silly rule to not to just end the run when you black out. Because it's the Pokemon that die, not you. It's not like you're getting murdered. So I, I like to just to keep the run going longer. But, uh, yeah, our backups, I mean, you gotta have good backups for that to work, and a lot of luck for it to come back from a full sweep, so... I think it's, uh, I think the consequence is enough. What? Oh, you pieces of garbage. You stats trash. Oh, you can't even, like, reset it so that you can just do it when you come back. You have to ride the whole thing, just a waste of time. Just like the last gym. A long waste of time. Oh, it's so exciting. I have to redo the whole stupid puzzle with Eggman again. It's not even a puzzle. Because there's only one option and one solution, so. Stupid button. Alright. Yeah, go. Okay, we're here. I think we're all pretty much ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna stick Asahina out front just for good luck, I guess. What do you have on you? Oh, the Mystic Water, right? Alright, power up the Water Pulse. Alright. Alright, versus Elisa. Yeah, they really improved everything about this gym, like, even her design for the next game. Alright, Girder. It's a fighting type. Let's go into Kokichi for this thing. That actually kind of hurt. Let's hit it with a wing attack. That should kill it. I mean, we're fairly high level. Thanks to, you know... Death awaits me! Don't be so... Oh, it's a Swalot! Don't be so negative, Shadow. Uh, a Swalot. Swalot, I had a Swalot. That was one of the guys that died in the sweep at the next gym. Uh, let's go into, uh, let's give the, let's feed this one to, uh, Nasahina as well. We are gonna die.
Amnesia all you want. I can frickin' body slam you, buddy. And Ice Shard, actually. No, we're not. This is nonsense. She must have a third, right? I mean, this is the frickin', what, third or fourth gym leader? I think it's the third. No, she's the fourth. She's definitely the fourth gym leader. Possibly. Maybe. Yes, she's the fourth. Alright, yeah, so she has three. And Asahina is actually in bad shape, and I need her actually in good shape for, um, important reasons. But, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk. I'm gonna go into Bondi, and we're gonna pull off the strategy with Bondi. Because it's, uh, oh, it's gonna go for Encore. That's not good. Let's put Yawn, and... No, it's gonna Body Slam this time, alright. That's fine with me. You piece of shit! That just completely ruffles my jimmies. Rustles my jimmies, not ruffles them. That's, it ruffles my feathers, it rustles my jimmies. Alright, let's use the Paralyzed Heal then. Alright, just Body Slam the hell out of me, I don't really care. YOU PIECE OF CRAP! Alright. Yeah, well we have to use the Paralyze Heal, because otherwise we'll just get paralyzed. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Alright, now we have to Belly Drum and hope it doesn't wake up. Okay, now if it wakes up, we're dead. But, oh wait, no, it can't wake up, because we already moved. Alright. Alright, well, let's just Hyper Potion. No risks. No, no risks. Just Hyper Potion. And we're good. Alright, and it's still asleep. Perfect. Alright. So despite some annoying body slam paralysis is... What? Oh, you garbage human being. I'm gonna keep using... I'm gonna freaking use Belly Drum, then. Well, I can amnesia all at once. I'm fine with that. I just gotta wait for the Encore to wear off, then. This is annoying! Why are we hitting all of these annoying... Oh, if it paralyzes me again. Perfect. Alright, let's just kill this thing now. <laughs> this is very annoying. You know what? The good news is when we get to struggle, it'll just die. Of course it's gonna critical hit. Yeah, it's why not? Now yeah, we're gonna heal. Alright. No, I gotta I gotta attack for an encores again. Oh my god! Kill me now! <laughs> can die in a hole. I liked it before, but after this, it's just, no. I'm gonna struggle this thing to death in a minute, and you know what? I'm gonna be fine with that. Critical hit and paralysis. Critical hit and paralysis. Critical hit and paralysis. I hate this fight. <laughs> We're just gonna heal. We're gonna heal first, just for safety. Just in case it gets another critical hit. Yep, it's gonna Encore, of course. Saw that one coming. Now let's... Uh, let's use a Paralyze Heal. Which will immediately be invalidated because apparently it has like a 50% chance now to Paralyze. Alright. Now let's Belly Drum. <sighs> it's like I shouldn't even bother. Oh, it didn't encore. You piece of crap, you're dead. You're dead. All right. And Atropius. And it's like, should I just switch into Kokichi? Yeah. 
Even though I could kill it, it's just the paralysis is annoying. Let's just let Kokichi deal with it. It'll be fine. Kokichi can handle it. Well, that was not fun, to say the least. Slightly rage-inducing. Just a little bit. Glad she didn't use that on the frickin' Swalot! That would've been annoying, or I guess it didn't even have a chance. Because it was dead immediately. Yay! Go Kokichi, the MVP of this fight. I guess for killing the first and the last, but I mean, it's not like they were hard. Just the stupid swallow out in the middle. And we have four gym badges. Now let's show a stupid animation of us putting it in our gym badge box. Yay. Now we have four. Ooh, I'm liking that one. I like that. That's a good one. Screw Volt Switch. I mean, Volt Switch is a great move, but... And I probably would have given it to Ibuki, and that would have been amazing. But... Oh, Life Orb with Volt Switch on Ibuki would have been great. But let's, uh, let's, let's, let's not be upset about that and say we got Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball is a great move. Now let's go heal all of our paraly paraly paralyzed teammates. Paralyzed. <sighs> Just rage. Alright, let's get onto this stupid bridge so we can get a new Pokemon. And name it after someone from Danganronpa 2. Taking a look at our team. It's a pretty good team. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I'm surprised we got a, such a decent team right off the bat. Oh, here's Sharon. Ah, all right, sure, why not? Let's be annoying. I first thought that said heat, heat ran, and I was scared for a second. Then uh, I wasn't scared anymore. Heat ran's really strong, and it's one of my favorite legendaries to use. Just competitive. It's yeah, so many rival battles. Jeez. I mean, it's good for experience, I guess. Fire spin. Ooh. That actually traps me, doesn't it? That's not good. I'm just gonna body slam. Oh wait, that was probably a bad idea. That's probably his flame body, doesn't it? No. Nope. Oh, it's just a zigzagoon. Now I'm staying. Yeah. Why don't I get 50%? Oh, I'm Magmortar. Why don't I get 50% Paralysis on my Body Slam? I like Magmortar, kinda. I like the I like the fact that it's got, like, gun arms. I always thought those were really cool. Well, they don't really have an edge. I mean, I've beaten them pretty soundly. And they're always way under-leveled compared to me.
and Sharon is relying very heavily on fire types. And there's his- Oh, he's finally evolved into a Cacturn! Now I can say it's not total crap. Let's go into Kokichi. Actually, let's go into Peko. Yeah, let's go into Peko. It's not the best, you know, choice at all, but you know what? We gotta have starter versus starter at some point. And I kind of want to give Peko some extra experience, so... Oof, sand attack. That's not nice. We might end up having to go into Kokichi anyway. <laughs> well, you can... Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to beat my other rival starter eventually, because she's going to learn Earthquake at some point, and... Peko no like Earthquake! <laughs> But I can beat one of my starters, my rival's starters, which is, you know... I mean, it's not an ideal matchup, but it's certainly a matchup I can win. Mind you, it's not over yet. By which you mean it is over. Yeah, it's over. It's very, very over. You didn't even damage me. Oh, hi, Alyssa. Oh, you two are friends. Oh, nice. You're having a little bit better by competing. Okay, let's go. Nothing. And that's all I care about. If you love Pokemon enough and gain an understanding of them, you might buy more of our games! Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna fight some kids. Is he gonna try and... Is he gonna try and, um... Pegasus us? With the, the stupid strategy he gives the kid against Bandit Keith? Lucario and Shaman! That's actually fairly threatening. Oh, and he's still got his heat more! Haha, <laughs> that's funny! Alright, so we're fairly, uh... Yeah, honestly... Yeah, Asahin is not good in this situation. Let's go into Peko. No, actually, because that's a fighting type. Ooh. I don't want to jump into a Buki without thinking through it first, so I guess let's just Water Pulse. Lucario. I really don't like this matchup against... Alright! Potential death! Nope, we didn't die. Alright. That, uh, that was the scary bit. Yeah, I really don't like Asahina in here, but we don't really have much of a choice. Until I know what they're up to. Alright, now that it's confused... Oh, it had a Lum Berry, didn't it? Or Citrus Berry. Alright, so that's fine then. Alright, now we can switch into Ibuki. A little more comfortably. Because it's gonna be... it's confused, so it has less of a chance of hitting her, and that's, you know, what I'm worried about. Yeah, so now I can't hit Ibuki. Shit! Uh... Alright. I guess he really is trying to Pegasus us! 
please hit yourself. I can't take it if you don't hit me. If you hit me. Okay, he's gonna hit the heat more. Alright. Alright, nice. Oh, it has a citrus berry too. Oh, I just want to Thunder Punch that stupid Lucario to death, but I guess we gotta. Let's Thunder Punch the Lucario. It's like, I want to heal, but I want to hit the Lucario. Oh, I should have just healed. Well, this might be the death of Ibuki. Nope, it wasn't. Alright, thank goodness. I really didn't want to lose Ibuki. <laughs> Oh, and this stupid shaman. Alright, let's heal. I'm not gonna take any risks with Ibuki here. Just gonna let Heatmore take care of this. Nope, not even gonna take a risk now. Like, Ibuki is fine, and I'm not going to switch into Asahina for obvious reasons. That's because those are the two who have the experience, I don't want to split the experience more. And we're safe. It's dead. Screw you, Shaman. And Ibuki grew to level 31, that's nice. Oh. <sighs> That was not a fun fight. Alright, let's head back, go heal, and get some freaking potions, because we're actually running fairly low on them. we didn't have any deaths, so that's nice. Full heals yet? No, no full heals yet. What do you sell? Oh, technical machines. <laughs> Laser garbage. Lick. Extra sensory is not terrible. Leaf storm. Water sport for 30,000. Yup, that's definitely good. Reflect type, debatable. Uh, I, there's a really fun Latias build with Reflect type. That's like the only Latias build I ever run because it's just that fun. But. Unless we catch a Latias with like Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse, and the other move that you need for it, then. I don't remember what, what the whole setup was. I think it was... I don't remember. I think it was the leftovers. Was, or no, maybe it was re had to recover. I don't know. But if we find... If we could set up that Latias build, then I would absolutely do it. <laughs> 3D animation. Kerchunk. And there we go. Beautiful. Alright. Yep. Great. 
Let's go. Yep, we're gonna do our best when you get off the screen so we can keep walking. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh. And then I'll beat you at the thing and you'll learn the power of friendship and whatever nonsense. Okay, so now we need to wait for the feathers to fall to the ground. So we can get our Pokemon on the bridge. Oh, I heard that. I hear a feather. As much as I like the music in there, we're gonna we're gonna stay around here until we find a. That should be the feather sound, right? I don't know. We just need to wait. Oh no, went too far again. Oh, there's one. All right, our encounter on Driftvale Bridge is. A what? <laughs> I don't think I know what this is. Let me first get onto the, this. And... Oh, we didn't even finish this. Its nickname was uh, Sakura. And it's currently stored. But we're on Driftvale Bridge. We have a Swad Loon, which I'm gonna look up. See if I even care. Looks like it's a grass type. Uh, oh, it's the pre-evolution of Lievene, which evolves via friendship. Of course it does. And it doesn't learn any moves by level up, outside of protect. Now, Lee Evany does learn some stuff, and it is kind of cool, actually. I might... You know what? Let's go for it. And first, let's switch out of Asahina. That's, that's a, probably a good idea. Let's go into Bondi. If it can survive a chip away from Bondi, it's worth keeping. It looks pretty defensive, so... Alright, it survived. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, that's at least interesting. Alright. throw a great ball at it. And you know what? I think this does fix some of our problems right now. I mean, it doesn't fix any issues we have with fire, but it actually... It's going to be stuck in death, isn't it? Alright, let's go. So, Swad Loon. That's going to evolve into, like, a fighting-looking thing. That It's not fighting type, it's just grass bug, I think. Yeah. But it's like this cool, yeah, let's give it a nickname. Like, stick bug kind of deal. It's a male. So it's this sort of thin, kind of fights or maybe defends itself. Hey, Mac. I don't know how frail it is. Um, I don't think it's good Kazuichi. Uh, certainly not Teru Teru. Oh, thanks for the host, Mac. Uh, definitely not Nekumaru or Gundam. Uh, uh, how about... So that really narrows it down to Fuihiko, Nagito, 
I don't think this is meme-tastic enough to be Nagito or Hajime. I'll count Hajime and Izuru as two separate characters. So, either... Either Fuyuhiko or Hajime, pretty much. Or maybe, yeah, not Kazuichi. Uh. Hmm. That's a hard choice. Uh. There just really isn't a... I guess Fuyuhiko could work. Uh, no, that's not the, uh, the, the cycle is, uh, one, we're on, currently on Danganronpa 2, and so we're doing characters unique to Danganronpa 2. I don't know where I would put Monokuma, but not here, and certainly not for this Pokemon. I think... A bug fighting type that's kind of thin and frail. I don't think that really fits... Frail looking, at least. I don't know how. Like, and it evolves with friendship. Like, that really fits either Hajime or Fuyuhiko. Uh, how about. Yeah, its base stats are focused on speed and attack. But it has decent defense. So, yeah, let's go with Fuyuhiko. God damn it. Press B too many times. Alright. Lower. Foo you. Hiko. Oh, box one. Alright. Now let's go and uh, let's go and get fake Biakuya. That's more interesting than Jataro. I think a grass type would be a nice addition to our team. Mmm, listen to that music. Yeah, I don't want a welcome from you, asshole. You killed my team last time I was here. I'm interested in trying this thing out. I've never played with the Lieveny before or a Swad Loon. I'm not super hyped about Jotaro being another flying type and just increasing our problems with lightning uh, uh, electric types. So Swad Loon sounds reasonable. Uh, I let's see what it's got. Fuyuhiko is level 23. We met it at Driftvale Drawbridge, obviously. Uh, its ability is... doesn't say here. Uh, chlorophyll! Boosts the speed and sunshine. It's not really useful. It's got a crappy nature, of course. Of course it does. It always does. Um, and it will evolve through friendship, so I guess let's just give it a shot. If it dies, it dies. Oh well. We have just had terrible luck with natures.
Okay, on Route 6 is searching for legendary Pokemon. Alright. No. I don't know what this is. It sounds like a church or some nonsense. Let's just. There's nothing. Seems like nothing interesting in there. Like a rec center. Oh, what's this? Route 6! Swadloon, its name is Fujihiko. And it's captured. And that's a shame. Yeah, well, we never. Reaper Cloth, so we can evolve a uh, Dustmar. Actually, let's switch Fuyuhiko out for Bandai, since we are going to try and catch a Pokemon. Alright, let's see what we find on Route 6. Alright. Route 6 is... Uh, I'm just gonna throw a ball at it and if I don't catch it, it's dead. I could care less. Do we even have a name for it? Are we gonna... Because we're gonna use a... Uh, this is now we're on Ultra Despair Girls, so... Does it even fit anyone? Like, do I want to waste a name on this that doesn't really fit it? Actually, I do have a name that kind of fits it, so I guess that's what we'll go with. This is all I'm throwing at it. If it escapes, it escapes. Well, we got it. Alright, that puts us to Danganronpa 3. And there it will stay for the foreseeable future. I am really only thinking of even considering using that if we have a wipeout and I need to fill my team with something and I need some cannon fodder, honestly. Alright, let's go to cold storage. That should be. Oh, we're in cold storage, which means we get another Pokemon. So let's. Let's pray it's something better than the last two things we got. Not that I'm super unha- oh, there's Charon. I mean, go ahead. I don't really care what you do. Alright, and our encounter here is... Killed it. What a horrible thing that happened. 
Oh no, I'm so depressed. Screw you, game. A Grimer would have been decent. <laughs> I wouldn't have said no to a Grimer. I probably would have put a Grimer on my team. But no, you had to give me another shitty bug type in a row. Uh... Wow, we have such bad luck. Outside of that Agron, we have not in the last, like... Since Route 4, we have not caught anything like I really like. Yes, sorry Snorlax, I kinda don't like you. <laughs> like, Quilava would have been nice. Like, ugh, it's just garbage Pokemon we've been getting. I'm not even gonna bother with Ledian, because I've already got freaking two stupid bug types. I've got freaking Volbeat already, I don't need another one. I mean, I like Ledian more, but I already got Volbeat, so why care? No, I don't want a fresh water. I wanted... Oh, I got two. I didn't want... No, I wanted lemonade. I'm gonna speed this up. I know the speed up button doesn't really speed things up much. Uh, and I haven't really been using it, but... Except occasionally I'm like when we're healing or at like gyms when they're just wasting my time. But yeah, sure. No. All right. Now we're stocked up on lemonades. I am a youngster. I am close to my Pokemon. We cooperate. Happily, and I didn't switch Snorlax out, did I? Well, gonna have to switch him out anyway. Swadloom would have had to been switched out too, so I'm not. Let's just go to Kokichi, I guess. No, let's go to Peko. Let's give Peko the experience. It's not much experience, but if we're gonna divide it, we might as well give some to the ones who need it. We're gonna go with Crunch. Now we just need to wait for it to hit. Wasting time! Wasting time! Wasting more time! Wasting even more time! A lot of time wasting in this game. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm not gonna throw in Kokichi. Who cares? There, it's dead now. Mr. Mime. Let's go into Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko can probably deal with this by himself, so that's pretty nice. Alright, boosh. Let's get him, Fuyuhiko. Despite this thing having possibly the worst nature for itself, As long as its attack's not affected, I don't really care, I guess. Just have it be a physical sweeper and it'll be fine. Maybe give it, like, toxic or something if we can get it. Preferably, we want to get it, you know, max friendship by 
level 29, but it's going to be pretty difficult. I don't think we need to go heal, I think we're fine. But I did want to see what's over there, so that's just why I was going over there. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Rocky Helmet, nice! That's a good item. Really annoying on those stupid Barathorns, but... Hey, buddy. Your dad is working in a gym. Great. I'm gonna beat you up now. And I'll beat him up later. Cofadrages. Ooh. This thing is just a hell of a wall. I don't know how we're gonna kill it super easily. A razor leaf does. Not very much! Oh, we're not status, so that shouldn't do. Holy crap, that did a lot! Um. Peck or Kokichi, please. I should have sent in Peko, honestly, but Kokichi will do the job just fine. That's not that big of a threat. I have faith in you, Fuji Eco. Alright, we're trapped, so here we go. Let's hit it with a razor leaf. Oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> Ow, that's not good. That's just no damage at all. Let's see what Bug Bite does. Maybe it has a berry that we can eat. Alright, that does a little more. Alright. Let's just start taking it down. It's gonna be a slow fight, but we'll get there eventually. One day. We're gonna have to 1 HP whittle this thing down, aren't we? I, think Ra I don't remember if Razor Leaf is physical or special, so I mean, we can just try that if that's gonna do more now. I think it's special. Oh shit. That does damage, actually. I'm gonna switch Fuyuhiko out. Let's go into Peko. This thing can't do anything to Peko, and I'm gonna heal for Yuhiko instead of uh, going back to the Pokemon Center, because using items on Pokemon increases their happiness, and that's what we want to do for uh, for Yuhiko. We want to make him very happy. This is why we're gonna be sending him into battle a lot. We're gonna be healing him a lot with items, and we probably don't need to. Just to just to get him happy, so we can get him to evolve, so that we can get you know good moves for uh, his evolved form. Earthquake on Peko. Earthquake would make this just so much better.
for Pekko, I am gonna go heal. Although, actually, I just wanna walk a little bit further. I don't think we'll need Fujiko if he wants to battle. Alright, we're in good shape. Alright, now let's go fight some Team Plasma guys. Oh, Razor Leaf is physical. Alright. It doesn't do any damage like it used to. It used to be a pretty good move. Now it's garbage, I guess. 55 power and 95 accuracy? That's... Oof. I can solve that. Alright. Anorith. Alright, that's a bug rock. Not really a threat, just annoying. Oh, I still haven't changed out Jotaro. Well, look at me. Look at me, the... Where he go? go into... Who can do anything to it? I guess Asahina? I guess we'll get to Asahina. So the rest of our team is in pretty good shape. Honestly, I'm happy with where everyone pretty much is. how good Fujihiko will end up, but yeah, it's worth a shot, I guess, is the point. Oh, 
not fighting anything particularly interesting lately. Outside of that annoying swallow, we really haven't found... We've really gotten kind of a, a boring s streak. With guys, like, the randomizer has been kind of failing us a little bit. Just got a lot of low-level, useless guys. Hmm, here's a Drifloon. It's not even a Drifloon. Like, it's boring. Super effective, so we should switch, but... I don't know, this has just kind of been pretty... We're gonna have kind of a dull slot spot here. But after that third gym, we just then they really haven't had much of a high point, outside of Ibuki. Who is phenomenal, and we should really use more, but... Especially now that everyone's kind of caught up to her. It is very nice having Ampros on the team. we can go... No, we don't want it. I guess we don't even want to go that way, do we? We just want to do this. Your heart is burning! You should probably go to a doctor! Get that checked out. Eh, what boring thing- Oh, it's a Zapdos! Well, that's not boring. That's not boring at all. That's a good guy, that's good. Alright, I'm happy to see a Zapdos. Let's go into Peko. And annihilate it. <laughs> I love me Zab. Zapdos is great. One of my favorite legendaries. All around fun. It's using detect, but other than that, it's you know it's a good guy. That pressure is actually really biting through those. Yeah, because Peko is gonna have a PP problem. We need to get him. We need to get her some more moves. Because her PP drops really fast. All right, got some good experience with Fuyuhiko. There's a little bit of a high spot. Chatot! That's definitely not exciting at all. Alright, let's kill this thing. Yeah, it's a perfect chance to show off Ibuki's amazingness. Look at that. Boom! It's an Ampharos. Oof, that wasn't good for you, Mr. Chatot. Uh, good for you, you hit me three times. I'm gonna hit you one time. V In Venominat? No, oh, okay. It's just Venonat. Just useless bug garbage. A lot of just crappy bug types in this area, just all over the place. I'll give this one to Bondi. He 
needs to get a little bit of a workout in. What is this? A mental herb! Well, that's just not exciting. A lot of not exciting things happening lately in this run. That's unfortunate. I, I This run started off so strong, and then it just kind of died off. Hopefully there's some more excitement a little later on. Hopefully this gym resurrects it, because I'm kind of scared of this gym. Ooh, it's a dust noir. That's kind of interesting. Because uh, this gym, this gym was the one that killed my last run. Oh, well, almost killed my last run. I managed to save it via a miracle, but it wiped my team. So let's uh, let's so let's uh, hopefully be a little exciting at least. There's just some there's some tension coming up. Please don't hit yourself. Come on, here you go. I'm trying to give you a chance here. Like I really don't think you're gonna do good but I'm just trying to I'm trying to give you like a shot to be a member of the team and you're just you're just completely blowing it right now just utterly blowing it and it's just not good for anybody let's go into Pekko and heal Fuyuhiko with the super potion because items for happiness yada yada Like, we even had a death in this episode, it was anticlimactic. <laughs> Our second death was, like, the most anticlimactic thing. I want this run to come back. Let's get this run going again. Crunch. Crunchitize me, Captain. I don't know why I referenced that. It's like, I never eat Captain Crunch, nor have any desire to. I want something interesting going on, though. Some more tension in the run, and that's why I think the, I think the the new Dangan Rompa lock, the the Dangan lock, will actually be a little more tense than this. Ooh, that's really good for Fuyuhiko. I'm liking that. Here, eat a razor leaf. That should kill you pretty quick. Yeah, go Fuyuhiko! Uh-oh. Now it can use a move that will do nothing to me. And it'll also be dead. So, it can't even use it. Hopefully that gives some good experience. Yeah, that's right, decent. Coffee! We're not gonna change. Until we go to Bandai. Let's get this to Bandai. Oh wow, I've almost been going two hours. I didn't even realize. Shivireru! Um, I didn't realize that wide lens. Oh, this is actually the longest episode of this. Amazing. Well, let's go fight some Team Plasma then. I'm, I'm down to keep going. Uh, Sharon, Slowpoke. Keep up. Yeah, probably. They're protecting that item.
Alright, who do we want to fight first? I guess we'll go fight this guy first. I wonder if we can just walk away and go heal. <laughs> if we feel like it. We got a goldie. We can easily deal with that. Ah, it's a Flaffy! I have I have something like that, but it, mine is significantly better in every way. And then I want to just use items on for you to go, so. Every time it thunder waves me, it's just giving me another op opportunity to give it an item, honestly. And we want to just item him up so he gets happy. Cranny dose, perfect. Nice, good job for you, Hiko. Kyrum! Oh shit, Kyrum! Kyrum! I don't know what to call it, Kyrum, I'm for that, whatever. Oh crap! That's an ice dragon right there. Um, do we have anything that can deal with that? Uh. Called Math Kokichi. Bondi, it's up to you. Bondi, it's time to shine. Alright. Dragon Rage. Oh, I'm glad I sent in Bondi. <laughs> Please don't get buffs. Okay. I don't know what Imprison does, but apparently nothing. Cause it's dead. Alright, we got it. We got the Kyrum. Kyrum. Bad legendary.
seen a lot of Politoads, I feel like. Maybe that's just me. I feel like we've just seen a lot of them. Just with trainers. Oh. Parish song, so we gotta switch out after this. battle his guys for him. Alright, so you're the last one. Will you be the best, or will you have nothing useful? Let's see. She's only got one. Ursaring! Well, at least it's interesting. more power. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Alright, kill it with Bug Bite. And it's dead. Food for the Fuyuhiko. That one guy has got to get three, and this guy only has to get one. Oh, two. I guess you've got the leader. <sighs> Item! What is it? Everstone! Okay. Not particularly useful for us, but... Oh, you know what? While... We are waiting for her, our friend here to evolve. That reminds me. We have... Two of these, apparently. I thought we only had one. Alright, we'll give the Eviolite to Fuyuhiko. Since he is unevolved, meaning that should buff his attack by two and his... Or his attack. His defense and special defense by two. Uh, which is really, really nice. That's a really powerful buff to him. That'll make him actually pretty useful in this upcoming gym fight. Oh crap! What's going on here? Let's go do this garbage gym.
I don't like this gym. I've never liked this gym. It's just bad. I really don't like any of the gyms in this game. I'm coming to that realization now. It's They're all bad. Like, I just don't like this gym at all. They're all the same puzzle. You have to activate a button to, like, finish the path. They just... There's nothing original or unique about any of them. So now this is why. See, so look at their levels. Their levels are a lot higher. I mean, coming in immediately when we're fighting level 33, or level 23s and 24s to level 28s and possibly above 30s. So. Hopefully we can get some good training off of these gym trainers. Gotta send him for I mean, Shaman was screwing us over before, but... Kokichi can just kill it. Well, actually, we could have killed it with Fuyuhiko because bug, but whatever. It's fine, we'll give them experience to Kokichi. I don't mind this. We've seen a few shamans now. I think there's a few guys we've just been seeing over and over again. I don't know if I'm gonna fight Clay this episode. I'm, I mean, this is the long episode, but we'll probably end it before Clay. We'll beat all the gym trainers and then go wait for Clay, and then before Clay, we'll stop. Oh, you know what? This isn't even as bad. This isn't the the black and white two version of this is much worse. When it's like those bridges, this one's just like elevators, so it's not horrible. Mantine! That's water flying. I don't know if we can kill that. I don't know if we can... I think we can risk staying in. I don't think it like knows wing attack. And yeah, because nothing's going to hurt us because we have Evia Light. Like, save a really super effective attack, we're not gonna be, you know, damaged. That is the beauty of the Eviolite. Nice. That said, I do want him to evolve fairly soon. That's actually fitting for this gem. You got the theme right, congratulations. Now your onyx is dead. Okay, well, now it's dead. You got a rage off, which did no damage, and then... Oh, it survived.
Well, that was a lot shorter than I would think, but okay, I guess we got to clay. Like, there's like all these trainers standing around and we didn't fight any of them. Did I just guess the right path, or...? Well, I guess we can go up here. No, that's what we already did. Alright, so we can go this way. Fight this guy. And then that guy. Lampent. I like Lampent. I like that whole line. That's such a great line. The Chandelure line. It's just fantastic. Let's switch out and go into Asahina, since I think she's the only one. Nope, but, uh, Peko is still. Uh, who do I want to go into? I think let's go into Asahina. I think Asahina's a little more useful in the long run. I mean, both of them both need to get up to level 30. I definitely don't want to have anyone below level 30 going into this fight. I mean, I have to check that run to see what level everyone died at, but... Alright, let's switch back into Fuyuhiko. Actually, Fuyuhiko can kill this thing really easily. This actually solves, you know, because Fuyuhiko somewhat solves some of our problems with fighting types as well. Certainly with Breloom. Breloom or... Oh, that effect spore is so annoying. I forgot that ability. Well, I, now I remember why that ability is banned. It made Breloom so good. Wake up, Fuyuhiko. Stop sleeping. Oh, you know what? I just realized we both have, we have Fuyuhiko and Peko on the same team. I... yeah. Okay. That was... that's some luck. Now the question is, who dies first? No, okay. It's gonna be who you can go. Alright. That effect spore is just so annoying, because it's a 100% chance, I believe, and that's why it was banned. It was just like, okay, try hit my Breloom. Okay, you didn't kill it. Well, now it's... now you're asleep, and... I win! It was not fun. That was not a, a fun arrow, it was effects for Rello. Uh. Alright, let's heal. I mean, this thing can't do any damage to me, so I'm not worried at all. Let's just heal the HP first. Just in case, it might have, like, Vice Grip or something. I can do a little bit of damage. Yeah, I mean, Just for safety, I don't want to take risks with our newest team member. And then we'll Paralyze the and... Boop. See, it can do a little bit of damage, but in the end, it's pointless. Because we have Eviolite. And you don't, Mr. Kingler. Thirty-two! Nice. Oh no, I found someone out of my league. I don't remember. I know he's supposed to be. He's got the baby face. 
Let me actually put them up front, just in case we have a double battle in the future and we want to have... And I, I can at least, like, keep them up front. And then have a double battle with them together. Alright. Oh, wait, if we can... Can we sneak past this guy? Yeah, we can. So we can go battle that guy. I don't remember. Um, so, I mean... I mean, she could well be. I mean, Fuyuhiko was short. I don't remember, because I know they were next to each other in Danganronpa 3. Near the end. Oh, it's a Bweasel. Uh... Peko... And Fuyuhiko. All of this is... Yes, she is slightly taller than him. It's not like a massive height difference, but she is slightly taller. She's like maybe a half or a quarter of a head taller than him. I believe in Fuyuhiko right now. I believe that our newest team member can fight through the confusion and prove his worth. Yes! There we go. Fuyuhiko's actually pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm liking him so far. I'm just here to see if there's any more fights, honestly. Alright, I'm going to probably end the stream right now, too, so I'm just going to go up and go to the Pokemon Center. So, uh, have a good night, Shadow. Feel better. Oh, and I didn't get my fresh water. Let's get my fresh water. Alright, now let's go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and end the stream. Next time, we're probably going to go down the, uh, we're going to go down Route 6 real quick. See if we can't find anything new, and then we're going to just for safekeeping purposes, and then, uh, good night, Mac. And then we're gonna, uh, take on Clay, and, uh, hopefully not have a repeat of the team wipe that happened last time I fought him. Alright, heal up. Save. And that's it. Uh, where's my OBS window? Uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, goodbye!